Okay, so today we're at Comic-Con Revolution. We are here at the Ontario Convention Center. Today is day one of the event. That's the only day we're going. I'm here with some friends. We're gonna go check it out. There's gonna be an artist alley and some vendors. Uh, and it's mainly a primarily a Western comic event, but it looked like there was a lot of cosplayers out here. We were at this convention center before last year for the Ani Manga event, which was absolute chaos. Look at my video. Uh, there'll be a link in the top right. So you can click that and check it out. It's very shaky, old camera, new camera, way better. Let's get on over there and uh, check out this event. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, my drip is on fire today. Vendor hall or the exhibit hall. Artist Alley is over there. You can see the big sign. So I think we'll do a little walkthrough around here, and then we'll uh, check some stuff out, and then maybe go over to Artist Alley. Yeah, let's do it. These are pretty dope. This booth had some absolutely badass posters, and I would highly recommend checking them out. Really wanted to get one myself. Was really tempted. I didn't. I'm kind of running low on wall space uh, from my own personal collection at the moment, so maybe if I run into them again. They also, the one that I wanted the most was sold out, so I didn't, you know, didn't really put too much thought into it. But uh, this convention was great. I'm um, walking through the halls here, a lot of really cool stuff. I didn't really expect to see so much anime at this convention, uh, as it was toted as a, a Western comic con convention type deal. So you can definitely see that there's a lot of comics here, lots of Silver Age and Golden Age and all that sort of jazz, and just goofy, silly My Little Pony comics and, and all sorts of weird stuff all over the place. I think one thing that really stands out for this convention is that there was a lot of space here. More so than I would have thought. Like, when I came here for Annie Manga, the crowd, maybe it was just a different crowd, it was definitely very packed and the lines were very long. But for Comic-Con Rev, it was great. Like, it was just so easy to get around and there was no crazy long lines everywhere. This booth next to the 3D printing booth is kind of well known in the SoCal area. They go to like every convention. They were at Bach Anime, they were at Anime Riverside. They shouldn't be allowed to go to any convention. All this shit is just stolen art. Like they catch you with the really shiny shit and you know, some of their figures might be real. I don't fucking know, I'm not taking the risk. I just know they steal art, okay? So I wouldn't buy anything from this booth and they seemingly get a lot of sales because uh, uh, so literally at this same weekend, Bach Anime was going up in Bakersfield, which I went to day two of 
It was basically a carbon copy of this same exact booth. I can't stand them, I want them gone, shouldn't be allowed in any convention ever. People who steal art should just not be allowed to have booths. Uh, again, we came across these guys. I've bought one of these before at Anime Days, I believe it was. I don't remember. I, I bought it at a Frankenstein's. I got me a nice Evangelion one. A lot of cool cosplayers here at this event. We're sort of just wandering the halls at this point. Checking everything out. Not sure what we're really looking for. Not really sure what we're, we're here to see. Uh, there was definitely a lot of kids at this event. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but it wasn't that bad. Like, Anime Riverside, which is going to be coming out in a week or so, had so many kids, but this convention, you know, it had kids, but it wasn't, like, a crazy kid destination. I feel like because they marketed it as a comic book convention as opposed to, like, an anime convention, it had more of a mature turnout. And even though, we, you know, you get here, there's still a lot of anime and still a lot of, like, goodies for for younger people to enjoy. And we came across a uh, good old Deadpool here and I got a little video taken with them. Thank you, Deadpool. Some cool Pokemon cards. This Spider-Man poster that I'm walking right by on the left here is just phenomenal. I didn't know Fightful Goes West had a card game. Very, very sus, but you know, if it exists, it exists, right? Some cool bunny senpai. Uh, we came across this little raffle type thing. Very cool. Uh, we had just done one of these earlier in the day at Anohana, so we weren't really looking to do it again. Uh, so we didn't. But it was cool to see it here. Uh, and these custom cases for these figures was really cool. Then we came across some Gundams. These are actually kind of rare uh, to find still in packaging. Then we came across this amazing jacket. This jacket was very expensive, but oh my god, did it feel so nice to the touch. It was so smooth, and, and it was reversible, and I really loved the blue color. Uh, I kind of regret not getting it, but it was, like I said, it was very expensive. I think they said it was like almost $300, maybe, maybe even close to $500, but that's like such a limited edition jacket that you wouldn't be able to find that like anywhere else uh, and then we stopped by this booth that had some really cool like vintage animation style stuff like they had a lot of Gumby and uh, these little ghost dudes from some old I believe it's Fle Fleischer cartoons I don't remember I'm a bad animator I'm sorry but they had a lot of people the head too and you know Pink Panther and Felix the Cat and just lots of cool uh, stuff like that. I ended up getting, she's showing off these little magnetic cork pins that you can put pins onto your refrigerator with. I ended up getting one of these, uh, actually got, well I mean one of them, I got a set of two. Uh, I haven't used them yet, but I really like the idea of being able to put my pins on a refrigerator because I, for, for personally for me, I don't really collect pins to like wear them. I collect them to put them on like a little push board for my walls or my, you know, well, I have them on my shelves. I have, I have like these little foam pads and you shove them on uh, and they're really handy. It's a nice way to show off your pins. But check these out. Yeah, so they're so cool. So uh, once I figure out what I'm going to put on my refrigerator, I'll post a picture to Twitter or something. Uh, but this was the guest signing area, so there were a lot of people doing signings here. Uh, lots of space, I must say. You know, I didn't feel cramped in this area. Like, a lot of times, the signing area is just chaos. 
There was this cool dinosaur chilling with some dinosaur bones at in like anthropology museum type booth. It was very, very odd. It was like he was. It's like she was dancing on her grave of her own grandparents. I don't know. It felt weird. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool vintage stuff at this convention. And of course, I have to stop and look at the shirts. Whenever I see cool, brightly colored shirts, I have to stop and look. It's just impulsive. I'm a shirt collecting fiend. Didn't really see any of the designs I liked though, so we moved on. Then we saw some derelicts, super cool. They were roaming the halls later. And then we went around through some of the areas where the cosplayer section was. So this was uh, pretty interesting. You know, like Ghostbuster booths, and there was like a Jessica Rabbit around the corner you can see, and there's Star Trek, and so many cool, unique people here uh, in costumes and with sets and displays for you to be able to take photos at. This guy on the end, uh, he's like a Witcher cosplayer, but he does like massages, and like, oh my god, like, I would. I kind of want to schedule to get a massage from him just because getting a massage at a convention is prob- I mean, it's pro I don't know. It seems kind of weird. Like, I feel like I would be too sweaty for it, but, like, man, like, getting a back massage, like, in the middle of a convention hall seems like the most relaxing thing in the whole world. But, you know, we moved on to Artist Alley, and Artist Alley, look at all this room. Again, so, so much room. These aisles are, like, what, 10 feet apart? Uh, this is- this is ridiculous. So, for Ani Manga, they had the Artist Alley in here as well, and they actually shut the lights off on them at one point, and there was no AC in here, but for Comic-Con Rev, there was plenty of AC. I didn't feel like I was sweating at all, like, well, I mean, I was sweating because, you know, I was, I was out for, like, 10 hours this day, but I didn't feel like I was sweating because there was, like, just bad room temperature. Uh, and then we came across these cool people with these, like, little pixel art things. Check them out. Uh, we have a lovely little combo. He films like every convention in uh, SoCal. Oh, okay. And um, yeah. We're, we're Fresno based, so we don't usually come this far down. This is like my southernmost event that I've ever done, I think. Yeah, this so. is kind of far out. I mean, we're you not go to Fresno, AX. but. Huge. Yeah, I, I'm signed up to do to go to uh, Anime Expo for next month. It's just it's just always hard because like especially with newer artists, they don't usually like let you in, and then they have like the waiting time and everything. It's also I, really expensive. Right? I, I got a buddy that or the guy that mentored me to do like all this perler art and stuff. He's gone to Anime Expo. I went with him to the last Twitch Con in 2019 as like a seller at his booth okay. kind of thing because I helped him make some of his keychains because like he does all his big stuff. His girlfriend does all of his pixel arts. A lot of his stuff's original. Yeah. And then the rest of us like he has me in another. I know I've seen that hat somewhere else. Like I know we've seen it at a couple other cons. So it's somebody that's in the circuit. In yeah. the circuit, yeah. yeah. It, I'll find them one day. It was like a pink, purplish booth run by everything. a small Asian woman. Aww. Everything was yeah, pink. I, mean, that's, I feel like that's half of them, but so, I'll find them. So the, so the Doge. I actually oh, did yeah. a tattoo on <laughs> it. Oh, how cute. I love that. Yeah, I, I love Doge, but I would be funny. <laughs> No, like an actual dog or the, the like that. No, the, the coin. No, no, no. I, I do have Shiba. Not a good investment. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much.
love these little posters. So funny. Okay, Boomer. Uh, I had to stop and get one of these pins. Love the Venture Brothers, one of my favorite shows. And then we ran into Chai again. If you haven't seen Chai before, she was in one of my previous videos at the oh god, at the Deco Day event. Um, I actually ran into her a third time after this at Anime Riverside, and she was cosplaying. So keep your eyes out for that video. Uh, my friend actually got a commission from one of her buddies, and I got two stickers. I believe I believe I got a. Uh, two hollow live stickers of of, uh, of Gura and um, Peko, Pekora. Uh, just checking out some of their booths, seeing some of their cool stuff. She shares her booth with a bunch of different people at each con. Uh, so it's always Chai and Co. Uh, good branding. Nice people. After this, we went to go sit out in the hall and wait for a little bit as my friends commissions uh, were being taken care of. I went off to go to the bathrooms. Again, wonderful bathrooms, no lines, lots of space. Uh, here's me in front of the Artist Alley sign. Super cool. We went to go check up upstairs. They had some laser tag stuff going on, which took over like three or four rooms. Wasn't anything too interesting, so we decided to head back down. It was nice and cool up there, though. And if you look outside to the far right, you can see a Huggy Wuggy out there, and I really wanted to go get a Huggy hug, Huggy hug, Huggy Wuggy. Because uh, that was probably the coolest cosplay I've ever seen in my whole life. Uh, here is one of the commissions that my friend got from another booth. Uh, and then here's Chai's uh, and her buddies. Uh, contact info if you want to get some of their art stuff. Make sure to check them out. Link in the description. Uh, and if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Uh, if you like seeing conventions in the SoCal area, you know, be sure to subscribe or whatever. These shoes are so dope. They were hand-painted, I believe. And here's my friend. He got two commissions of the same character. Tama and Tama. Uh, he's a Tama freak. Uh, from I believe it's from a card game like Wixos or whatever. Here's, here's their QR code if you want to get a commission like this. And here's some of the other work that they've done. These are so cool. These are lovely little cards. That was about it for this convention. Uh, you know, there was a lot of really cool stuff to see here. Lots of cool places for photo opportunities. Lots of cosplayers. Didn't really expect so many cosplayers to come to this event. I was pooped. This was a long day for me. I had gone to so many different events this day. Okay, so that was Comic-Con Revolution. This was day one, the only day I'm coming. Uh, this has been another Evil Anarchy convention video. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what you guys liked about this video down below in the comments. Um, but I'll catch you guys in the next video, and uh, bye.